welcome back to my channel guys today i'm going to show you guys how to make this quick simple and easy spinach recipe if you are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me all the measurements will be available for you in the description box below so to start off with we're going to start off with a pan and in that pan you're just going to be adding some oil then to that you're going to go ahead and add some crushed garlic and ginger paste then you're going to chop up some spinach and you're also going to wash your spinach in some water and then you're going to drain it and then add it into your pot so you can add all and as much spinach as you've got on hand be mindful that your spinach will initially fill the pot but as it cooks it will wilt down so you're going to then place a lid on it and allow it to steam in the pot for about two minutes so after about two minutes you'll notice that your spinach is starting to wilt down you will then use your wooden spoon to just try and get the spinach that's at the bottom to come to the top this will also ensure that your spinach doesn't burn at the bottom while you're still waiting for the top spinach to um, steam through then we're going to be adding some tomatoes so this spinach recipe doesn't have a lot of ingredients so then we're adding some chopped tomatoes we're just going to leave those on top and then we're going to close up our lid and allow that to steam for another two to five minutes so after that has steamed through you can see that our tomatoes have softened you're going to use a wooden spoon just to try and evenly distribute your tomato and spinach mix and also to try and make your spinach um, into smaller sizes then we're going to start seasoning i've started off by adding some curry powder then to that i'm going to add some rosemary which i'm just crushing with my fingers then you need to add some stock you can add chicken or beef stock i've got some fresh homemade um, beef stock that i need to finish up so i'm just going to be adding that if you don't have you can use the cubed one like i've shown you and you can just crush that into your spinach then you're going to give everything a quick mix just so you can evenly distribute everything And while you're doing this, you can also make sure that you continue with the pressing action to crush down your spinach. So at this point, you can then add any additional seasonings such as salt um, for your own taste. And you allow that to simmer until all the water evaporates. And that is it. It's a quick, simple and easy spinach recipe. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.